Hello learners. Welcome to Manifested e-learning platform. I am your teacher, Moniki Nyaga. So I'm teaching you chemistry. Our topic is energy changes in physical and chemical processes. In our previous topic, we talked about physical and chemical processes. These physical and chemical processes involve energy changes. This energy change can either be decrease in energy change or rise in energy change. Those reactions which leads to gain of energy from the surrounding, they are called endothermic reactions. And those reactions which leads to loss of energy to the surrounding are called exothermic reactions. In this lesson, we are going to discuss endothermic reactions. An endothermic reaction, I've said, it is a reaction So it is a reaction that involves gain of energy from the surrounding. So in this endothermic reaction, we are going to do an experiment to demonstrate an endothermic reaction. So the experiment. Determine. endothermic reaction using ammonium nitrate. So we want to determine an endothermic reaction using uh, ammonium nitrate. So the procedure for the experiment the procedure number one need to wrap a clean plastic beaker 250 ml with a tissue paper. So wrap so wrap a clean two hundred and fifty ML plastic beaker using a tissue paper. The reason why we are using a tissue paper is to prevent the gain of energy from the surrounding. The second procedure, we need to, to hold or to secure tissue paper So secure the tissue paper using a rubber band. So the rubber band is just ensuring just the tissue paper remains intact with, with the plastic, the plastic beaker. Then our procedure number three will be measuring 
100 ml distilled water. So measure 100 ml of distilled water and put it in into the plastic beaker. Our procedure four is measure the temperature. using a thermometer. We measure temperatures using thermometer, so you measure the temperature of water, which you've already put in the plastic beaker, then using a thermometer. Procedure five, you add two spatula folds of, of ammonium nitrate. Put two spatula folds of ammonium nitrate solid into, into the distilled water. Into the distilled water in the beaker. Procedure number six is Stir, stir the mixture. Using a thermometer and record the stable temperature. And record the stable, stable temperature realized. So that is the procedure we are going to use in determining the endothermic reaction then using the ammonium nitrate. So the first one, you wrap a clean 250 ml plastic beaker with a tissue paper which you have said that is to ensure that heat is not gained or lost to the surrounding. Then second, you've seen that to secure this tissue paper using rubber band because the tissue paper can always come out of or from the plastic beaker. And therefore, you need to hold it together with the, together with the beaker with a rubber band. Then procedure three, you need to measure 100 ml distilled water and put it into your plastic beaker. Procedure four, you measure the temperature of that water first. Measure the temperature of that water and we are measuring the temperature using a thermometer. Procedure five is put two spatula folds. Put two spatula folds of ammonium nitrate solid into the distilled water in the beaker. Then after adding the ammonium nitrate solid, then lastly you need to stir the mixture using a thermometer and record the stable temperature realized. So the results you are going to present them in the form of a table and the table will look like this. So we have the final 
final temperature. So the solid we have used is ammonium nitrate. So the final temperature will be now the temperature which you realize after starting the mixture using a thermometer and record the stable temperature realized. So the mixture in this case is ammonium nitrate and water. That is the mixture. So the final temperature is now measured in degrees Celsius. The initial temperature is now the temperature of water. So the temperature you measured uh, the water before adding ammonium nitrate. So now the temperature change is the difference between the final temperature and the initial temperature. So that is the temperature change. In short, what is, what is the temperature change between the final temperature and the initial, initial temperature? It is expected that when you put ammonium nitrate in water, there's going to be gain of heat from the surrounding. So dissolving ammonium nitrate in water gains heat from the surrounding. So we expect that the final temperature is going to decrease. For example, if our initial temperature, let's say, was 23, 23 degrees Celsius, that is our initial initial temperature. So we expect that this temperature to go down. So the temperature maybe will go down by two, let's say two degrees Celsius. So our final temperature will be 21 degrees Celsius. So the initial temperature or the temperature of water was 23 degrees Celsius. Then the temperature of the mixture was 21 degrees Celsius. So our temperature change will be 23 degrees Celsius. You subtract the final temperature, which is 21 degrees Celsius, and you'll get 2 degrees Celsius. So it's just 23 minus 21 degrees Celsius, and it gives you 2 degrees Celsius. That is the experiment to demonstrate an endothermic reaction. So an endothermic reaction generally is a reaction which leads to gain of heat from the surrounding. That reactions like this ones, they gain heat from the surrounding. So without heat, then they cannot be able to, to take place. That's why they have to gain heat from the surrounding for them to be able to take place. And that's why the final temperature is lower than the initial than the initial temperature. That is just an experiment to demonstrate endothermic reaction. I have an assignment for you. Define what an endothermic reaction is. So define what an endothermic reaction is. So that is our lesson today. Then our next lesson will be about exothermic reactions. Thank you. Thank you for choosing to study with us. For more information, you can call us on 0724-173845.